Viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Sin City. Everything's here. Does this job ever cease to amaze me? No. There's always somebody else who's going to either run from the police, fight for the police, lie to the police, everything. Every shift, someone's going to do something stupid or just not do something that you would think a normal person would do, and we catch them every time. We're going to an area where there's a lot of drug activity and gang activity and violence, so we're going to go see what's going on down here tonight. There's been a lot of shootings down here, and uh, we have calls down here every night. All right. There's a guy in a truck right there. We're going to go and see what he's doing. Shouldn't be anybody in any vehicles here. Go ahead and check him out find what he's doing here. 7 Animal 11, 425B occupied. It's going to be related. Suspicious vehicles occupied isn't usually... A vehicle occupied here at this time of night. Let's can see what he's doing here. Don't don't open the door. Okay. Close the door right now. Roll the window down. I just got the driver's license. Okay, well, I'll keep your put your hands on the steering wheel. Okay. You don't jump out of a car anytime. Yes, sir. Put yeah. your right hand on the steering wheel. Give me your license. Yes, sir. What are you yes, doing sir. sitting out here, sir? I'm looking for, I was going to talk to a guy about doing some uh, work, for, uh, uh, cement work for my grandma's uh, driveway. You got that's, anything? That's the bottom line, yeah. You got anything illegal in the truck? Uh, no, sir. Keep your hands on the steering yes, wheel. Yes, sir. Ever been arrested before? Uh, a long time ago on a DUI, but anything I don't else? drink. I, I, I'm, I'm Ill, I have no, uh, I have no gun, I have nothing. My okay. record's fine. You're talking an awful lot, sir. Oh, you, oh, you well, sure I'm scared. Good? So you're here to talk to somebody about what? Uh, cement work. Jose, well, he's not here, though. You think that's normal at 2 o'clock in the morning to meet uh, somebody yeah, to talk about work? Yeah, because that's the only time I can get a hold of him. He works graveyard, so, you know, and his day's off, so that's the time that he's up and stuff, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's no drugs in the truck? No, sir. Uh-uh. There's nothing. I don't do drugs. So this is your truck? Uh, uh, it's registered my mom's name, but I'm the driver. I'm on the insurance of the driver. Do me a favor. Come on out of the car. Keep your hands out of your pockets, all right? Come back to the police car. Put the bottle down. Yes, sir. Stand right in front of my car right yes, there. Yes, sir. You got anything illegal on you? No, no. Turn and face the car? Yes, sir. Nothing illegal on you? No. You mind if I check? Yes, sir. Go ahead. You can check. You mean me? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm not yeah, going to check. check anybody else here. Yeah, check. Okay, you're extremely nervous, all right? Uh, well, I'm scared. I haven't been pulled over like this before. You're not pulled over, sir. You're simply sitting in a parking lot. Okay. There's a, nothing but high crime in this area, okay? I'll okay. be straight honest with you. I... So it seems really weird to me that you're out here. I'm saying this is the only time you can get a hold of them. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, Why can't you get them to hold them some other time of the day, like a normal time. hour? Like a normal hour. What's a normal, you know, normal hour, like daytime? Mm -hmm. Why can't you get a hold of them at a normal hour? He works a great bird. Huh? He works graveyard. Do you have inserts? Or? No, I just got caught now through the present zone really bad. That's all. <laughs> yeah. You don't have anything up hiding no, up uh -huh. there? You sure? Yeah, I'm positive. You lift your lip up like this? Uh -huh. I swear you got something up there, man. You're making all these movements with your mouth. Nothing, huh? No. Are you lying? No. I, I just told you. I just showed you. I have nothing. I have nothing to hide, Joe. Move your fingers out of the way. Uh, nice try, man. Turn and face the car. Turn and face the car. Nice try. Don't move. You understand? I'm going to hurt you if you don't. If you try resisting me. Swallow. He's got it in his mouth. Open your mouth. He's... Open your mouth. Do not resist, sir. Do not resist. Open your mouth. Put your hand behind your back right now. Put your hand behind your back. Someone go to Taser if they have to. He's... Stop. We got him. Stop. You are going to get tased, sir. Sir, you're going to get tased right now. <laughs> Go to the, okay. Oh, go, go. You stop resisting Spit right now. Stop Spit resisting. It Spit it out. Spit it out. Got him. Oh, okay. 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 Does that hurt? You better stop it. Stop resisting now. Stop. Stop resisting. I can't breathe. I can't stop, breathe. Stop resisting, sir. It's only going to get worse if you do not stop. I can't breathe. I'm going to taser. 
Go to Taser. You're going to get Taser right now. You make one okay. false move, I will tase you. Yep. You understand? Okay. Okay, okay, you're under arrest for destruction of evidence, too, just so you know. Oh, Is he in custody? No. Yes, he's under please, arrest. Please, please. You need to stop. I will okay. tase you. Stop resisting, sir. Okay. It's right here. Got it. Stop. <laughs> you got anything in there, sir? No. What are you doing in your pocket? Uh, nothing, sir. Nothing. <laughs> oh. Calm down. Oh, I gotta calm call down. my dad. I, when do I get You need call? to calm down, okay? I gotta call. Huh? How old are you? 40, man. Okay. Do you have anything else in your mouth? No. Hold on. I don't know. He's got We're gonna have to check. Yeah. I don't know. What'd you just spit? Nothing. I don't know. You spit again? He just no, spit over I, here. I don't know what to say. Sir, calm down. Okay? You got me shaking. I'm not doing anything to you, sir. You need to calm down, okay? You're... Okay. Open your mouth. Okay, I see it. Spit it out of my car. You got a crock cocaine, you're just going to kill you if you swallow it. You need to spit it out. Okay, I got it right there. I, 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 sir, that's, that's, listen things? to me. I don't sir, know. Listen I don't to know. Me. Am listen I going to die? Listen. How much did you buy? Uh, 30. 30 rocks? Uh -huh. All right, I had him in front of the car, mm -hmm. and I was just simply interviewing him, talking to him. I'm about to let him go. I'm this close to let him go. And I'm like, sir, what's in your mouth? And he said, nothing. I already showed you. I said, well, show me again. When he showed me, he put his fingers inside of his mouth like this, and I, was holding, I could see something white between his fingers, okay. and it wasn't his gum line. And, I said, and then right there, I went, I went to, he said, you're under arrest. I immediately knew that he had something in his mouth. Right. He's trying to conceal from me. At that point, I just picked him up, put him on the hood of the car. Okay. You guys came over, we got him into custody after a little struggle. Yeah, because we were looking in the truck, so I didn't see how that went down, so I just wanted to make sure. No problem. Cool. Good, good job, man. Good job. We're going to find more drugs in the car? Did you throw some no, down? No. Because you're reaching around. Yeah, there was Remember when I walked up to the car, you opened the door and tried to distract me? I put it in my mouth to kind of bear that. That's all. Piece I'm just call. testing this. Yeah, I see the last four. Let me get it. I'm telling you. Start the paperwork on him. I'm not going nowhere. We're testing this uh, suspected cocaine and see if it turned blue. It's turned blue. I apologize. It's okay. It's okay. You didn't fight us. You were close to fighting us. Okay. Okay. I know. We. You, when I first stopped, you said you're down here picking up somebody from cement, and you and I both know that's not true. Okay. And we find out you got something in your mouth. Listen to me. Yes, you find sir. out you got yes. something in your mouth, okay? And then to find out later you got a drug problem, okay? You need to tell the truth and then you don't need to fight with the police. You okay. understand that? Yes, sir. Fighting with the police is a bad thing. Yeah, it okay? is. Okay? Hopefully you learn something from this tonight. Yes, and I hopefully did. you stop taking drugs, all right? Yes. Don't be coming down here to buy any more drugs, okay? Absolutely. We don't tolerate that downtown. Okay. I've always enjoyed self-initiated activity. You know, there's calls that I go on that I enjoy, but by and by, I take most satisfaction out of being able to take the initiative of my own to dig something up and make a good arrest. It's, it's just a lot more satisfying to go out there and, and find something on your own and uh, create something that a lot of times turns into uh, you know, a good arrest or solving some kind of problem that the community's having. Uh, this green minivan up here uh, has got a piece of paper in the window that says stolen plate. However, there is a plate on the back. Ran the license plate. does come back to a warrant. We're going to stop it. Stay in the car. What's up, man? Alan, the reason we got you stopped, you got a warrant, comes back on your plate. I'm not, I don't have warrants. Okay, who's that with you? My Uncle Gene. Say what? My Uncle Gene. Your Uncle Gene? You got a driver's license? Yes, I do. Where are you guys coming from? Hey, stop. Come on out. Can't the car. Oh, my God. Here's my license. All right. Back against the car. Oh, back? Yeah. Got it. Come back here, man. Move over. The reason you stopped you is you got a license. We ran a license because we saw your little stolen tag thing in there, which made me wonder why you have an actual license on the. I I'm talking. It's... You have a license plate on there, but you had a stolen uh, license plate sticker on your window. Ran the tag, comes back to a warrant. Okay? Now what we're at is I walk up and I see this. In a Huggies uh, baby wipe container that he hands me. You know anything about this? No, sir. It's not my van. How about you? So who's this? The babies? No, it's my sister's van. What do you I really don't know. I don't... I don't you around. smoke meth? No, sir. Sir? Your sister does? No, my sister does not smoke meth. So how'd this get in a baby wipe box? 
I really have no idea. I, of course not. You got any warrants? No, sir. Right. I'm good, so. Okay, you want paper or anything? Oh, man, this is ridiculous. What the hell is going on? What do you mean, what's going on? I just told you what's going on. Uh, you ever I'm been arrested for a felony? Never. How about you, sir? Yes, aggravated battery in Leavenworth back in 2003. Nothing since then. I don't. I don't play, man. It's just child it's support. Right. Is your it's license valid? Support. Yes, sir. Right. I mean, I'm trying my best to stay straight, and I just keep running into walls. You know what I'm saying? This is crap. So you're the wrong place, wrong time, pretty much. Every day. I mean. Child support, child support, child support, wrong taste, wrong place, wrong time. I just had to call up there. I called, I thought I had court today. But can you blame me though? I walked I out court for, yesterday. for a violation and a, and a warrant to a tag and I see meth and right by his feet. The same. Can you blame me? He's got a warrant out of Plattsburgh for felony assault, DV assault. You know what that's all about? Uh, no, I don't. I couldn't have a warrant because I, I was released from there into Jackson County's custody. Okay, well, you've got it in the system. It's under the state and the national entry on it. What? Yeah. Oh my. You probably got picked up on it, talked to the detectives, and they walked it over and got a warrant issue for you. Came back on you, man. Sometimes that it takes time. Better. You want to toss a car? You want me to? Uh, I was never. Okay. I was never given. There's, a, you, you find that? There's a little, a yellow plastic container of baby wipes, like uh, for the bottoms. And that was sticking out of the top. It was of sticking it. out of there, and I said, "What's in the baggies?" And then he pulls it out. And there's meth there. In the council, oh there's a bunch God. of extra plastic bags for no reason, sandwich bags. Uh, he pulled them up. I didn't see anything in there. Hey, but can I call that's my That's just sister? all in plain view. We'll, the rest we'll deal of it, with that in a minute. I have no idea. Can all I right call then. my sister right, why don't we, right now? Why don't, why don't we have a seat on the curb, man? I didn't. Oh, man, it's hot. Sit down. I got you. This is ridiculous, man. Come on, sir. You too. You didn't know that was in the van? I didn't. You didn't oh, notice man. all those plastic baggies? That, that van's always trashed. Is it? I didn't. You do drugs? No, no, sir. You ever done drugs? Yeah, I have. When's the last time? Oh, shoot. Maybe six years ago. Good for you. It's been clean ever since? I don't drink either, so I'm proud of myself. Well, I'm, I'm glad. That's good for you. Oh, my goodness. This is ridiculous. Okay. Stand up, guys. Oh, man. That's all that he has. Come on. I got you, man. We're going to load you guys up in the wagon. Let me make sure you're Let's go around that way. It's Tom. All right. Well, let me double lock him real quick. Hey, have you searched him since, you got, since we found that warrant? Let me check that cigarette oh, pack okay. real quick for you, bud. Spread your feet Make out. sure that's all it is, the cigarettes. That's all it is. You got nothing else on you? No. How about your shoes? Uh, I ain't got nothing. You can take them off and check them if you want. Okay, he'll, he'll be doing that in a second. Okay. That's mine. Is that, what is that? This Matt? is sitting back there. Yeah, this, this is that guy's. No, this is Harold. That's mine. This is his. No, that ain't mine. I got a brown. This is sitting right in here. Oh, well, there you go. Whoa. That's my uncle, though. Is this your wallet? Yeah, you relax. Uh-oh. Well, that's my uncle, though, man. Oh. Yeah, that's my wallet. Yeah, I don't know if this is cocaine or if it's... Is yeah. it fake? Is it real or fake, man? I don't know, dude. Come on, it's your wallet. Just no, tell if it's real or fake. Because I'm going to test it. No, I'll admit it. It's my wallet. Well, it's your wallet. It's behind your Social Security card, I mean. So. I ain't lying about the wallet. Well, you are living by that shirt, aren't you? Oh, yeah, man. And both times you're telling us the stuff that's in my wallet behind my Social Security card is not mine. The stuff that's at my feet is no, not mine. that's not mine. This is in your wallet behind your Social know, Security card. Oh, it is mine. Well, but this you isn't. Don't know how they got it in no, I don't. Okay. Well, that's just a little bit uh, far-fetched. So. Did you learn anything today, Harold? Yeah. Tell me what you learned. I learned <laughs> keep an eye on my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so Harold, enlighten me and tell me why somebody would deem it necessary to put some narcotics in your wallet. I don't know. That's is it your birthday or something? No. Somebody give you an early birthday yeah. present? Nope. That's what I'm more starting to wonder. Somebody setting you up? That's what I'm starting to wonder. All right, you're going to go on a 24-hour hold, right? Right. Means you're going to be arrested for it, but not necessarily charged. You're going to speak right. to the detective, but this is a whole new matter. Okay. You're going to have to try and convince the detective that you didn't know there was narcotics behind your Social Security card in your wallet. All right? We got it. We're en route to uh, back our SCAT team. Uh, one of their informants has given them some information, reference uh, some dope that one of the local uh, gang members uh, has. So we'll go over there and see if we can help them out. They've asked for some assistance. I'll walk down the corner. It's right on the corner.
Hey guys, what do you got? And uh, we got a, a subject. He's on uh, parole. So we got information that he's uh, selling methamphetamines out of his house. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to sneak up on on this side, you know, coming off the street and uh, contact him. You know, like I said, he's on parole, so we're good to search his house. I've already contacted uh, Agent King. You know, he's good to go for the search. So okay, we're going to go see if we can contact him and uh, see if we can locate the, locate the meth on him. Where we need him. What's going on there? You know, I'll stay lethal cover because they got tasers. Get one in the backyard. 20s en route to Acacia Wilson. Hey guys, somebody just came over the gate westbound. Keep your hands out of your pockets. Right now. Separate your feet before I slam you to the ground. All right, all right. Sure. Get that hand back. Oh, hey. Knock it off. Okay. Take a deep breath. Okay. I'm going to have you roll over on your stomach. Look at me. Just at me. Look, I'm going to. Take a deep breath. Roll over on your okay. stomach on three. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. Get that hand back. Get that hand back. Get that hand back. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Get your breath and roll over on your butt. Sit, the, sit down. Sir. Sit down. Oh, man. What'd you dump on me? I don't know, sir. Why are you getting all froggy when my partners are telling you to put your hands up? Keep them away from your what waistband. I am done with you, sir. You're on parole, aren't you? Oh. When the police tell you to do something, you got to do it, man. The first time. Why are y'all sweaty and stuff? Oh, because you guys rest me down. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to oh. give you the chance, okay, to tell me where the dope is so I can just go get it. Now, you can go to jail, okay, and your family gets to stay here and do their thing. There's okay? nothing in there, sir. Listen. I have to go in there and I have to search that whole house and tear everything apart. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there? You sure? Yeah. Okay. What's up? Uh, what's the reason you guys coming over here though? You're on parole. I don't need a reason. Yeah, but why though? What did I tell you? are on parole. What did I just tell you? What's what, that right there? Stop. Stop. Put it back down. Oh, there we go. Looky there. Oh, by the way, you're under arrest. Oh. We got it. Here he is, on top of the pool. What's that? That's why I'm sweating. What's that, Philip? That's what he was reaching for. He's trying to get rid of it. Put one leg in. Lean forward. Oh, oh. What's wrong, Tweety? You got any more dope on you? Spread your feet. Spread your feet nice and wide. Wider. Spread your feet. Come on. Spread them. Philip, how long have I known you? Don't do that. How long have I known you? Years? I've been watching you. You think this is just a, a brand new thing? Where I just came to your house today and, and decided to go through your stuff? I don't think so. Get in the car. All right. It just amazes me that half your boys are in jail right now for the same stuff. Have you? So it just amazes me how how your boys are uh, in jail for the same stuff. This is what we found on your husband. He's on parole. He's doing this with the kids. What's going on? Go ahead. You got scales in the house. He's on parole. We've arrested the kids. We got dope on him tonight. In the front yard, he dumped on us. Are you angry with him? What? Uh, how many years have we been doing this? Huh? It's a routine, right? That's what you guys have always told me. How many years? That's what you guys have always either. said. You guys always have said. Then what? break. Then break the routine. I'm getting tired of Break the routine. the routine then. That's all we're asking. These kids have no future like this. It's all we're asking you is break the routine, okay? You're the only first, you're the first officer that has ever said that to you. Lady, you need to get your priorities straight. When he came back here, he, um, he's on parole. And uh, he jumped up. He wrapped up a, looks like a stolen gun here. Ooh, it's a 
big ol'. So we're gonna fingerprint it. He can't be on parole and possess any type of uh, weapons like that, so. With his priors, he'll probably get life. I think this is th his third strike. We're gonna go confront him. My partner, uh, Detective Vigil, just found this gun, so. I'm up Hit him up and ask him about this gun. You got it? Yeah. We got your gun. Whose is it? Who is it? I don't know. You tell me. It's your house. You were in the backyard. Keeps on getting worse, man. You want to work with us or no? You know you're looking at life. This is your third strike. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. We're now patrolling the area of Rupa Valley, known as Pedley. This is a high crime area related to drugs and gangs. Uh, try to pay uh, extra attention to this area in efforts to uh, reduce these problems. Car just left this house. A, a search warrant was served in a house related to drugs. It looks like a car just left the uh, house. Let me see if I can catch up to it. They just make a quick left. They just pulled up into a driveway. Let's see if I can check it out. Eighty-nine, eighty-one. Rosie, how you doing? I'm not Rosie. You're not Rosie. What's your name? It's Ruby. Ruby? Yeah. Okay, Ruby. Let's go talk over there. Mm -mm. You have an ID with you? You don't? Mm -mm. Okay, put your hands behind your back, folks. Put your hands behind your back. Yeah, I'm inside the... Stop. Why are you doing Stop. that? Stop. Let me go. Let me go. Stop. Why are you doing Stop. that? Why? Stop. Why? You haven't even identified my, me and you're already doing this? Stop. Hmm? 251. 11 11. One combative. Let me go. Let me spring? go. Stay down. No. I don't want to get sprayed. I want you to leave me alone. What are you doing that? Stay down. No. Stay down. No, because you haven't even identified me. You're doing this. Why are you doing this? Let me go. Stay down. Why? Better get down. Better get down. Better get down. Better get down. Okay, 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 yeah, you already got me, like, what the hell? Hold on, get your ear off. What talking to you? What? Well, you got some tweak in your pocket or something? No, oh, that. I got mine. What you got there? I'm going to get pulling my pants down too now. I'm trying to get rid of some. No, I'm not. I was trying to get rid of you. Obviously, you fell. Well, obviously, so am I. Come on, Rosie, just relax, okay? Edward, 
go ahead and check that car, bro. Somebody, one in the back, too. Come on. You're a tough girl, let me tell you that. I try to be. You didn't take advantage of it, that's why. Have a seat. All the men do. Be a fool, I'm There she is, brother. That's, that's our girl right there. Transportation for sales and a possession of uh, methamphetamine. Okay? Yes, sir. What happened? Uh, throughout the shift, I was uh, looking at this house, the cedar. Uh, I've been to the house plenty of times for H&S activity. I knew there was a wanted uh, female out of that house. No, that lives there, but frequents the house a lot. And then uh, I figured, okay, well, I guess I got nothing. Turn my spotlight off. I kept driving, and a female comes out, and I just happened to turn it back on, put it around her face, and I ID her as one of the uh, That's what was one attempted to do Frank. So I, I stopped. I get out of the car, and she didn't know what to do. You know, and then uh, I didn't put myself out here because I wanted to beat her before she went in the back. Right. And I was like, hey, Rosie, how you doing? And she just stood quiet. Aren't you Rosie? She's like, uh, no, you're right. you got the wrong person. She tried to walk away. Well, let me see somebody. You, get, you know, come on here and right. fight zone. So, okay. Uh, you're not hurt? Oh, no, not at all, sir. Okay. Hey, Rosie, that's you, right? Isn't that you right there? Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. How come you didn't tell me who you were? I talked to you many times. Yeah, but you didn't even give me a chance to tell you who I was. You asked me, are you Rosie? I said, no. What's your name? Ruby. Is it and Ruby? And then right away you grabbed me, right? Is it Ruby? I said Ruby. I is it Ruby? Oh, it's a Ruby, no. Then you lied to me. Yeah. I, I knew who you were. Okay, but you didn't, you were making Why sure. did everybody call you when I was doing the investigation with your brother? Rosie. What? Right? Thank you. That's what I thought. I thought I needed. Can I have some paper, please? We don't have any. Sorry. Who's the driver? A friend. A friend? You know his name? He said it was Richard. Richard what? I've been looking well, how for come him, too. Haven't him huh? I haven't found him yet. Yeah? Oh, wow. That's what I'm here well, for. Well, his sister's over there, no? In jail? Yeah, yeah, I know where she's at. I know she's a big liar. I understand that. Thank you. And you're not, huh? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit? All right. Hey, can I get some papers for real it, we, we got, we, we, hands, hey, we, I'm not kidding. Okay, we gotta take we gotta take care of that at the station. We're gonna wash our hands and we don't want to take care of that right here in the car. But we'll we'll, no, we'll take care. Of it. Okay, we'll we'll take care of it when we get to the station. Don't worry. You gotta put it in my car too, huh? She was a hell of a fighter. I gotta give you that. I know she's gonna go to jail for a long time on this one. Uh, I've been a cop for almost three years now. I love being outdoors. I love being having something different every day. Uh, this isn't a desk job. This isn't something you go and do the same thing every day. It's everything's different. You get to interact with a lot of people and uh, make a difference in uh, in people's lives. Just ran this plate on this car, and it's coming back as a stolen car. And uh, it's in front of this business over here. I think there was a female driving it. Driver, step out of the car. Let me see your hands. Keep your hands where I can see them. Step out of the car. Step back to my bumper. Turn around. Stop right there. Put your hands up. Drop what you have in your hands. Step back to my car. Stop right there. Go down on your knees. Who are you waiting for? Where's your girlfriend at? Cross your ankles. Put your hands behind your back. What's your girlfriend wearing? Stand up for me. Come stack back here for me, okay? Step right here. Do you have any weapons on you? No. Any needles? No. Do you shoot up? No. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to the presence of an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed before questioning. Do you understand your rights? I do. Okay. So who says you stole their car? I believe, I'm trying to think of his name. I met him yesterday. You met him yesterday? I did. Bart. Bart? Bart. So you stole Bart's car? Or he says you stole his car? Right. Why did he say you It was a fair exchange. It was a fair exchange? What was it for? How, many, how much drugs did you give him? Um, 40. You him 40? Yeah. Crack? Mm -hmm. 
And where 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 did you meet Bart? I'm on Flamingo. Flamingo on what? Harmon on what? Uh, Harmon between Paradise and Cobo. And that was like yesterday? Mm-hmm. What time did you take the car yesterday? Nine o'clock. So you agreed to give him $40 worth of crack and he was gonna no, let you borrow the car or what? I mean, basically, I mean, we had been hanging out for a little bit right. and we had become friends. So it's a rock yeah. runner, right? That's what? It's a rock runner, right? What does that mean? It means you give him dope and he lets you borrow his car. No. No? Like we, like we were gonna hang out. Okay. And he didn't want to give me some money, so that's, I mean, that's what he said he would do. So why didn't you give him back his car? It wasn't that I didn't give it back. He said that I could drive it. For how long? Well, at first, the agreement was 15 minutes. Okay. And then I told him, I said, but I've been here for a couple of hours. Where? And you haven't at his house. Okay. Where's your crack pipe? In the seat. It's in the seat? Uh-huh. Where is it? It's in the door panel right here, right, there, right down there. It's going to be a crack pipe. They use it to smoke uh, crack cocaine. Got a little baggie in here too. Looks like it's already been opened up and they've already used, so. Can't have that. She said she was going to have a crack pipe in, in the front seat. A little piece of Brillo. They use that to, to filter. How much are you spending on drugs right now? I couldn't even tell you. I spend like at least 500 a day. 500 a day on drugs, just crack or what? You ever try heroin or meth or? I tried like meth, but I, I stopped doing drugs for three and a half years and then I started doing meth and I went to rehab last year in February. And then I started again. I've got a lot of family problems, so. How come you don't get rid of the prostitution and all the drugs and, and kick all this and, and become a contributing member to society? I can't. Why not? I don't know. What's up, Bart? Come over here and talk to me. All right, Bart. I'm Officer Johns with Metro. Okay. Then when you talk to him on the phone. Okay. Yeah. Do you know the girl that's in front of my car? Uh, yep. I picked her up last night. Okay. Whatever you oh, whatever you talk to me about. Okay. I'm not going to use it to prosecute you or anything like that. Okay. However, I do need the full, complete story. I know. And I took her back to my place. We were we were um, partying, you know, drinking and stuff. And I didn't want to go anywhere. She wanted to go get some more. Stuff. And I was, I was like, no, I ain't going. She said, well, give me your keys and I'll be right back. And then the next morning, and then my roommate's going like, you can't really tell the police that, that you gave her the keys because then they're not going to put her stolen report out in the car. They're not going to find it. And you'll never get your car back. So it worried me. So I said, so I told so I told you guys that she had took the keys out of my pants car. So I don't. Well, what was she going to go get when she took the car? Was she going to get crack? Yeah. Okay. How much was the agreement for? $40. $40 worth of crack? Okay, and how long was she going to use the car for? It was only supposed to be there in back 20 minutes. 20 minutes, so she was supposed to use the car, and then what was this, was her second agreement? Yeah. Okay, so she went to get the drugs, and she never brought it back at all? Right. At what point did you decide, hey, I better call the police and let her know like, my car's gone? I think it was like 9 or 10 in the morning. This morning? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let me come over here, I'll talk to you guys together. Bart, Sarah, Sarah, Bart, you guys know each other, right? Any part, any part of his story that you heard that didn't jive? No? So when was the last contact you had with Bart? Last night at 9 o'clock when I left. You'll get more drugs. And you just never came back. Crack's a horrible thing. There's no justification in any of it. And we both knew the choice that we made. No argument in that. We I both knew. I don't want to see anybody get in trouble for my life. You know, me lying saying that she stole my keys. All right. Okay. I went, went that on my head, you know. All right. I appreciate your honesty as well, Bart, okay? All right. Well, this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna release the car to Bart, all right? He doesn't want any charges pressed on you, okay? So I'm not gonna take you in for the felony. Possession of a stolen vehicle is a felony in the state of Nevada, okay? And, and because of your honesty, I'm not gonna take you to jail for the pipe, okay? Mm -hmm. However, I will cite you for the pipe. All right, I think that's a fair compromise. Absolutely. Okay, so I'll cite you for the pipe and I'll release you here today. You have to show up for court. All right, if you don't show up for court, the warrant's gonna be issued for your arrest, okay? Thank you. I've been working here for a little over 17 years. My uh, father was actually a, a police officer here in Pomona. He retired several years ago. And there's quite a few sons working here where uh, their fathers worked here at one time. And 
I get to work with uh, some of the guys my uh, father used to work with. I'm going to be out with uh, an unoccupied stolen. Uh, plate's going to be 518. Uh, it's on a Cadillac and it's parked at the uh, motel. So we're going to keep an eye on it for a while. Yeah, it should be on a brown Cadillac development. A lot of times just set on something, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. All we can do is uh, sit here and see if he takes off. Uh, Leonard's got the other side. Okay, uh, Leonard just told me uh, in my earpiece, the car left out the uh, west side and it's going uh, westbound on Fairplex. Uh, Copy going westbound on the 10 freeway from Fairplex. He uh, hopped on the freeway. 71 at 31 on northbound 71 at the interchange. X ray 16 is with him. X ray 16 without him, 31. I guess the vehicle left and went westbound. So I hopped on the freeway. 31 10 20. And we're following him now. I don't know why he's... Yeah, we're 10 at uh, Kellogg Drive. It's going 50 miles an hour. We're 10 at Kellogg Drive. All right, I'm going to light him up. Looks like they're pulling over. So... I couldn't really see the occupant, but... Uh... Look like it might have been a female. So we'll get on behind you guys, I'll do the traffic break. So you should probably do the traffic break. 940 RCHP. Can you tell her again? Hey driver, take the keys and toss them out the window now. Oh, she tossed him out this window. Good. Driver, go ahead and step out of the vehicle. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Step out. Step out. Get out of the vehicle now. Let me see your hands. Go ahead and put your hands up in the air. No, stop. Look at me. Turn around. Put your hands up in the air. Walk towards it. Walk towards the vehicle. Hands up in the air. Keep coming. Stop. Now, sidestep to your left. Side step to your left. There you go. Walk forward. Go ahead, Farnham. You're clear. Turn around. Turn around. Stop right there. Get on your knees. Your hands up. Get on your knees. Put your hands on top of your head. Can you just set her down right there for so we can talk to her when we're done clearing the car? That's good enough. She won't be able to move. Approach. Go ahead. I'll watch her. How are you? You all right? What is your name? Sergio. Sergio? Where did the car come from, Sergio? I bought it in San Diego. You bought it down in San Diego? How much did you pay for the car? $350. 350 bucks? I bought it in San Diego. Really? It looks pretty nice. When was it that you bought the car? Um, it's been about four months, five months. Four or five months ago? Look at me, Sergio. Why was this car stolen out of Ontario like uh, eight days ago? Uh, huh? Because some guy thinks I stole it. I sold it to him. Some guy wanted me to sell it to him and I... I guess he got my paperwork. Oh, so it's a big misunderstanding then? That's all it is? Did you ever register the car in your name? No. But if he has the paperwork, I mean, you'll see on there that it's in my name. Mm -hmm. How old are you? 24. 24 years old? He said uh, he's owned the car for four or five months, but... Uh, Sounds best, right? Yeah, that's his ID. Sergio from San Diego. Yeah, you said he was from San Diego. 
and he's headed over to El Monte right now. And who did he buy the car from? friend's house. Uh, I don't know. He, he didn't say who he bought it from, but he said he bought it down in San Diego four to five months ago, but that doesn't make any sense. Uh, I think it's been, uh, it was stolen about eight days ago. Okay. Very good. Hey, Sergio, are you on parole? Yes. What are you on parole for? For burglary. Say again? Burglary. Okay. Who's your uh, parole agent? Miss Cooper. Out of where, San Diego? San Diego. Are you uh, absconding? No. Oh, you, she said that. Sort of. You are sort of no, absconding. I'm not. I'm not. She was. She was out sick for two months, and while she was out sick, I didn't know who the officer taking. So the you case failed to uh, report them. Yeah, but she said I'm not. Okay. You know you have a warrant for your arrest for that. No. Okay. You're gonna be arrested for that, and as well as uh, auto theft. Okay. All right. You understand? Yes. Do you prostitute at all? No, I don't. Nothing, huh? You just uh, dress like a woman? For what reason? Hobby. Just a hobby of yours? Do you dress like a man sometimes? Is that a wig that you're wearing? No, it's your real hair? So I, how do you do your hair when you uh, dress like a man? Braids. In braids? Very good. So you're like 100% man, though? For the woman, whatever. Huh? You're on parole. Some tape. Put your hand out. Spit it 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 out. There it is, right there. Got it. It's coming out. Get it all 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 out. There's nothing in there. I swear to God. I just sock him out your mouth. You ready? Almost. And don't you know if you eat that stuff, you feel sick? Make you sick. Why was I? Why was I ran up on in the first place? Because my partner saw you do something that obviously do me what? We didn't. Why you can search? Oh, what are you talking about? What's this that just fell out of your mouth? What that? What personal use? Personal I'm out here doing it. Getting high like everybody else. Got it. All right, we'll stand, Jeff. What's your first name? Juan. Juan? Yes. Let me explain something to you, Juan. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to speak with the attorney. If you can afford to hire an attorney, we'll be appointed to represent you at no expense yourself. Do you understand your rights? Yes. What's going on, Juan? Why are you guys standing back there doing a little hand-to-hand? -hand? We didn't do any hand-to-hand. -hand. Broadway. What'd she ask you? She asked me how I was doing. We're friends. I know, I know her. I've known her for years. 
So you're saying this is for personal use? Yes. You see, you got money. You, you got I multiple bindles. Multiple, there's two. That's two, that's more than one. And who knows how many you swallowed? I didn't swallow. I just, uh, if I, I already copped, and that's why I put it in case I got arrested. Yeah. Immediately you see me, you go straight to your mouth, start chugging the water. Just thirsty? I got a lot of riding on this. Was this the only two bags in your, in your mouth? Yeah. Did you get any down at all? No. Nothing got swallowed at all? No. You buying or selling? I was on What's that? Selling. Selling? How much have you sold tonight? Huh? How much have you sold tonight? Five, ten pills, what? I haven't sold. I just got down here. Just got down with two pill, two yeah, bags? Just How many did you swallow? Trying try to pay rent. You got a couple down, right? I for your own so. health, for your own yeah. health. I'm serious. How many did you get down? Uh, a couple, but it, it's all right. I've done it before. Okay. You just got to, I wrap, I triple wrap them. How much you sell in a week? I don't, I don't, I, I don't usually sell. I just like, like if, if, if I'm in a bind, if I got to pay rent, or if like, you know what I mean? Like, because I have a job. So like that's like what I use to be able to put myself on when I gotta yeah. like turn my money over. So not not all the time, but if if I'm in a, if I'm in a bind and I gotta make an extra buck, you know I'll do what I gotta do. I haven't been down here that much lately, though. So probably what do you what are you selling each baggie for? Those are uh, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars pop. Okay. How much did you make tonight? I, I just got down here. Like, well, I thought you had, you had a pretty decent so lot I, of cash. I had that. I, I got that. I didn't get that down there. No. No. How long have you been doing this? What? Selling. Uh, how long? Uh, since I was a kid, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. How'd you get into that? Uh, I'm from New York, so that's, you know, that's, that's... That's, that's what they all do in New York? Yeah. No, that's not what everybody does, but, you know what I mean? It's, I don't know, it's, it's a jungle out there. It's, it's difficult to explain. Do you ever sell whoop? Bunk? Uh, whoop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> whoop. Huh? Uh, yeah, before, yeah, to, uh, when I was broke and homeless. Now you just sell the real stuff? No, if if, if 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 I'm in a bind, I'll do what I gotta do. Yeah, that stuff there good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Answer me this: You sound like a pretty articulate guy, smart. Why are you Why are you doing this? Uh, I guess kind of gave up on life. I got graduated from high school and tried to get into the military, but they wouldn't take me because I had this uh, attempted sell. I tried every branch; they wouldn't accept me, so I just kind of gave up on life after that. I think you need to kind of rethink things. You know, I'm a loser, man. No, you're not. Yeah, you know. I got a record. Nobody's saying that. The only thing you... I got going for me is a high school diploma, but what's that worth? I mean, I'm, I don't know. I might be able to get for scrapes, but I'd never be able to make a living like you guys have any type of security or anything like that. I, I, know, I, without I, cutting corners. I don't agree with that. You got to take this as a starting point, okay? Things in the past have been bad. You know, you can start fresh from here. Look into some trade schools. Look into some stuff to get a little further education so that you can do something, you know. Make a good living. Make an honest living. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you don't have to worry about being down here in the street. Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, I'll give you my card if there's something that I can do to help you out, either with your PO or, or whatever. Give me a call. Okay. Okay. Really? I thought you just called. Just but the thing is, line. is look at you. Okay, <laughs> you've got potential. A lot of these guys out here don't. They're going to be down here slinging dope they, the rest of their life. For, they're down here for, we've seen them down here for nine years now. But same, same, guy, same people moping around every night. you got potential. You can go places. And if so, I can do something to help you with that, you know, that's what this job's about. All right, that's cool. You're not going to see me for the rest of the night. Let me put you in the car for a second, then I'll let you out, okay? Put back here. Oops. Some things never change. Let's go to jail. I was born and raised here in Spokane, and I went to college in Michigan, and then I returned to work in the family business. And while doing that, I became a reserve officer because I always had an interest in law enforcement. And you know, a lot of people around here told me I was crazy leaving the family business. And I love coming to work every day because it's something different and it, it's it's fun. We are going to a prowler. Neighbor called in, said he saw a white male slinking around the neighborhood. So we're going to go and check it out. Kind of odd this time of day to be prowling cars since it's still daylight. I don't see it. I didn't see which way it went. 43, do you want me to start more units that way? 44. There he is right there. Go ahead. All right, David. 
41, we'll have them here at Longfellow and Adams. Probably Longfellow and Adams, and six four, you can just rent. Take your hands out of your pockets there. Come here. What's wrong today? Huh? 41, he's running. North Adams. We're running uh, east. Forty one, we got a helper here that helped us take custody one block east of there. Good man. You alright? Yeah. Roll over. Roll over. Okay. Turn your head down. Okay. Give me back your arm. Give me your arm. What's going on today? Huh? Do you live around here? Why don't you roll up on your side, okay? Roll up on your side. You got any ID on you? Huh? Hey, can one of you guys just go get the address here on the street here? You alright? How come you're running for me? Oh my god. How come you're running for me? Huh? Can I sit up? Just hang on, okay? I'm not gonna run for me. Okay, why don't you sit up on your rear end, okay? You already did run. Oh god. Huh? 41, we're in the backyard behind 4223. Thanks. Why don't you go ahead and stand up? You want to tell me what you're doing? Why you ran? Huh? Can I stand up? Yeah, go ahead. Are yeah, you guys going to kick my ass? Uh uh, no. Okay. Get your knee leg underneath you, okay? Do you live around here? Come on, go ahead. Oh. There you go. We'll go out front here, okay? Where are you at? Are you out back or out front? I'm right here. Okay. Is your car out? Right here. Oh, okay. We'll go put him in it. Don't know who he is yet. He's got ID in his front pocket there. He is all Where's right. My... Are you all right? It's a question. What were you doing back there? He had his hands in his pocket. He wouldn't take it out. And... I'm... Huh? Are you just drunk or are you... Go ahead, spread your feet. Spread your feet. Spread your feet. Your feet. Okay. Where do you live? Right where you guys got me. What's your last name, sir? What's your last name? Yeah. What's your last name? Is your ID in here? There it is. Yeah. All right. Jeremy, you got warrants? Can you can you adjust my glasses, please? Yeah, just a minute. Can I just uh, like lay, lean against your car? There you go. No, you're gonna have a seat in the back of your car there until I figure out what's going on. Okay, go okay. ahead and have a seat in there. This will be good for some warrants. I didn't even recognize him. I was like, hey, come here and talk to me. He just starts nonchalantly walking back. So I go into the backyard, and as soon as I come around the corner, I hear the fence hit, and I went over the fence, and I didn't see where he went from there. So I don't know if he just swung back right around or. He's uh, he's always good. He's always good for a bunch of warrants. Where's that young man's name? That uh... <laughs> I'll get his name. I'll just make it quick. So you pr you probably went to the wrong address then. Okay. Were you fight? Were you fighting with her or your no. girlfriend? You guys didn't get in a big physical fight there or anything. No. Okay. And you're not hurt. No. Not injured. You okay? Oh, you just been drinking a little bit today. Oh, I already asked you before. Any drugs today, Jeremy, or anything? No. Okay. And you have an order with Dawn, and you're not supposed to have contact with Dawn. That's your brother's girlfriend, right? Yeah. And who else? Nobody else. There's nobody else. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and so you just today and just you left and then kind of got lost or what? Yeah, that's all it was. Okay, and you did you know you had the warrants? Not really. Okay, well, how come you ran then? I guess that's my question. How come you well, ran? Well, I don't know. I just didn't want to go to jail. Okay, well, if you didn't have any warrants and you didn't do anything wrong, why would you think you were going to go to jail? Just, I don't know.
because every time you come in contact with the police, you go to jail. Is that yeah, kind of your theory? Pretty, pretty much, yeah. All right. I guess that's understandable. But today, you have warrants. So one of them's, who's your PO? Who do you check in with? I'm not sure. You're not? Okay. And then you have a local misdemeanor warrant for like telephone harassment. That sounds like a charge from a, from a while ago. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. And you're not injured. I'm going to ask you that again, right? You're okay? All right. Well, I'm giving you a break on the obstructing charge, so which I can load you up on a misdemeanor, but Thanks. again, we didn't go very far. Thanks for not. You're welcome. Thanks for not running that far. <laughs> okay. Yep. We get a lot of help from civilians uh, during the day, so it was nice to see him, those guys chasing after him. That really helped a lot, so I'll send him a good guy letter. Very appreciative of it. We're down in Woodville. It's an area just outside Tallahassee in Leon County. It's a good zone to work in. We get to handle the normal calls, um, burglaries, things like that. But um, you have a lot of opportunities to get um, proactive and go out there and work real hard if you want to. I'm at speed It's coming back to a uh, four-door Mercury, silver in color. I might be different, 28. Just ran the tag on a silver uh, four-door vehicle. Came back uh, stolen out of Palm Beach County. I'm gonna try to get up here and catch up with him. Looks like he's trying to lose me and uh, hide somewhere. Uh, I'm turning into Bell Rose right now. I think uh, she turned. It'd be uh, Cap Circle Woodhead. 521 foot pursuit. 521. Foot pursuit, Leon. On Woodhaven. That's 10-4. 25, right there. 1033 on 1, 4, 5, 21, and a foot pursuit on Woodhaven. Yeah, that's probably that's it. I'm at the one end of Woodhaven going down a dirt road. We're trailing back eastbound. Let me get your hand out. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Hey, Chris, I got him. Get on the ground. I got him. Roll over and shut right. Tuck your legs. Right. I was the whole time seeing that dog. Shut up. All right. 521. I'm 10-15. Turn around. You gotta get money. Money. You got anything that's gonna poke me or anything? I'm sticking my palm in here. Okay, look at me. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in court of law. Having these rights in mind, you wish to talk to me now. Is that your yes or no? Oh no, I'm good. I don't... You don't want to talk to me? I, mean, I got a few questions to ask you because oh, that. Where'd you get this car at? Okay. Well, why when I pulled up behind you did you run? Huh? Why did you run when I pulled up behind you? Three forty four happy thing. Cause why? Huh? I'm here to help people, man. I ain't here to hunt people. Why'd you run when I pulled up? Cause you're a police. Did you know that car was stolen? No. You didn't know it was stolen? No. You were running the tag. The paper's in the inside. Okay. I already ran the tag. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I about to say the papers and all in the inside. So wh wh who's your friend that gave you the car? What's that? Huh? Do you not want to talk to me at all? Uh, Look at me. Do you not want to talk to me? So he could get in trouble? He, listen, pa listen, partner, right now, I'm in trouble. You're yeah. in trouble. You're in possession of a stolen vehicle. You're going to go to jail for Grand Theft Auto. Do you understand that? Yeah. So unless you start talking to me. Did you know that car was stolen? I didn't. 
You didn't know? No, bro. I ain't. Well, who's your, what's your boy's name that let you borrow it? Hmm? No? Okay. I didn't double lock those yet. Let we'll them, we'll them cook for a little bit. I'm going to check you again. Um, do the amount of currency on one subject. Um, he may have been wheeling the deal all night, and we don't know just yet. You want to say anything else, man? No, I'm good. Huh? You're good? So you're going to take the ride on this uh, Grand Theft Auto charge, huh? Hmm. Yeah. What's up with all those, uh, all the money? Huh? What's up with all the money? That's something. Four hundred dollars. Probably not even four hundred. What are you doing with all of it? What I'm doing with it? Bitch, I got a job. I work so. I don't Why are you care. driving a stolen vehicle around there? I ain't know it was stolen. All right, man. They'll take Kool-Aid packets and open them up, and uh, use, usually using steam, open them up, and then put drugs inside of them and reseal them. That way it conceals the drugs and looks like it's just Kool-Aid packets instead. Got in there? A little uh, portable scale. Well, that's nice. I'm good with mine. Where'd you find that? Uh, right in the uh, circle. Okay. Right underneath your chicken sandwiches. Let's go ask him about this thing. What you doing with this? Huh? You know what that is? Yeah, scale. What are you doing with scale? Where's the dope, man? Man, you no dope. You didn't dump any dope back there? Go back there, take your dog back there and everything. Do whatever you want to. I know I ain't had no dope on me. So you can go back there with your dog. All oh, that. Only reason I came out the bushes because the dog scared me. I know them dogs bite. So yeah, they do. Yeah, I know. So that's why I gave up. So um, I, ain't, I know I ain't had no dope on me. I just had money on me. Well, what you doing with the scale and all the money? No, I had. $400 on me, cause Okay, what's up with the Kool-Aid packs? I was making Kool-Aid, then I know you see some movies too. Go home and watch movies and drink some Kool-Aid. It's hot back here, man. Alright, we'll get the AC turned up there for you, okay? Um, it, it, it is a numbers game. You run you run a tag and uh, could come back a hit stolen vehicle or could be just a normal tag. You just never know. So, um, it's good to get behind those vehicles and just, you know, double check. Make sure everything checks out okay with the vehicle. So he'll be going to jail for uh, Grand Theft Auto and uh, the people will be getting their vehicle back in one piece and looks to be in pretty good condition. It worked out good, man. It worked out good. Good job. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Yeah, 25, 14, 10, transmit on text.